happy Friday. Happy morning. It is morning. It is Friday. I think it's Friday. Oh my gosh, what even are days? What is a week? What is what is reality? I, I have questions. I have questions about reality. This is fine. Um, welcome in, everybody. Uh, congratulations to Kate Bloomer on being first. You get to be the first viewer to redeem first on this Friday stream. So congratulate yourself. Round of applause. Pat yourself on the back and you get to be first today, which is super lovely. It is lovely to see y'all. Welcome in. Nice to see you, Kate. Nice to see you, Petulant Cobra. It has been so long. Um, and I'm glad you were enjoying Pokemon Scarlet. I have Pokemon Violet, but I still have not booted it up. Life is fun. It is interesting. I am a feeling. I have feels. I'm not sure if it's entirely clear exactly how brutalized my voice is right now, but it is brutalized, which is one of the main reasons that I canceled streams, um, because even if I am home... I shouldn't be talking. I extra shouldn't be doing toad voice right now. But I'm doing so much better now than I was last week. Um, and I'm just really excited to be back. So please excuse the clearly blown out vocal cords that I have. And please also excuse the disgusting cough that I still have left. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So just... Be aware of that. If you're listening on headphones, I'm sorry for destroying your hearing forever. Um, <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. So we're just going to see how much of the stream I can get through without hacking up a lung. It's okay. <laughs> we're all fine. We're all fine. Whew. <laughs> you have a love-hate relationship with it. That's fair. That's fair and valid. Oh, no. Oh gosh, that's really interesting. The new mechanic is fun. You like collecting terror type Pokemon? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have fun with it. Um, bugs don't bother me. Love the idea, hate the execution. I am excited to play it. I've been hearing a lot of very pitchy information about Scarlet and Violet, and I think I'm gonna enjoy myself very much. Oh! That is a special bronzoing. It knows Dimension Door. Make sure you catch it. Yeah, I would love to try that. I've never done... So, like, Kate, thank you for the offer. Because I actually very rarely do any of the co-op stuff. Um, and so I am curious to see, like, what that might add to a game that I haven't played in a while. Here we are talking about Pokemon, which is not even what I'm playing today. <laughs> Pokeballs stopped all trees from rendering. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, so the game has some issues, I am noting, in the best way. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it would shake and the trees would just not happen. This, yeah, this feels like a game that is like prime for speedrunning. So, finally, it was supposed to be Monday, but I was too sick to talk, and I also had a fever and the worst sore throat of my life, and so I did not stream on Monday, but we are finally getting to the November game swap, which is thanks principally to Kate Bloomer's meaningless calorie donation, definitely Yoshi's story. By like 30 votes, Yoshi's story. This is, uh, it, it's, it's very much the winner today, and that is fine. Oh no, what did your roommate find? So we are going to be starting Yoshi's Story today, just seeing how far we get, just enjoying this wonderful game that I haven't played since I had it at 64. <laughs> it's been a long time for me. What I remember is the song for this is the cutest, most annoying song in the existence of cute and annoying songs. It is a genre unto itself, and so I'm very excited to hear it again. I hope we do. And I'm excited to remember anything about what we're supposed to do. I, I have no concept of how this game goes anymore. So we're just going to launch and see what happens. You've never manipulated a vote ever? Well, I didn't say you manipulated a vote. 
It's not manipulation of a vote to use the tools that are available to you in order to make sure you win. Uh... Do I have to press that button? Yes! Absolutely! Yes! This is the best song. Every single building he went in, there was a tarantula standing in the exact same location and orientation relevant to the door. That's terrifying. Oh, oh dear. Speaking of terrifying, the super happy tree has vanished. And now these happy Yoshis are not happy anymore. Only baby Bowser could be so mean to ruin the happy Yoshi's dream. The island had paid an awful cost for the super happy tree was lost. Why is it trying to tell me things? I'm trying to watch stuff. It's trying to teach me how to use controls, which is important. But elsewhere on the pop-up aisle, some Yoshi eggs survived the trial. These Yoshis have seen some things? It's true. It's true. Oh, Six little Yoshis! A perfect- but look at the yellow derp! Oh my gosh, the little yellow derp with his egg covering his eyes. Ah, they tried to ground pound. Sadness darkened every Yoshi's face. It should have been a super happy place. Oh no. <laughs> Kate, that'll just be the speed track of like, whoop. Speed run strats right there. Uh, if we grow super happy, we'll spoil Bowser's evil plot. Baby Bowzer. Sonic Simulator over here. Kate Bloomer is always playing Sonic, doesn't matter what the game title says. Okay, so the super happy tree has been stolen by Baby Bowser, and now that we have hatched new Yoshi, we need to get the tree back. Okay. Trail of fruit. Okay. Cool. Sonic or Digimon? Yeah, that's fair, actually. I was kind of enjoying the Digimon thing. <laughs> we'll stay together, the others cried, and stop his ba baby Bowser hide. <laughs> this is the best, like, children's book intro of life. So we have to find a tree and save the world. Gotcha. Understood. This is... D does this ever stop? It feels like they're offended that I haven't pressed the start button yet. But at some point the book's gotta end, right? Okay. Okay. Ooh. There are modes. Practice? What are the options? Okay, those are very simple options. The noises on this menu are amazing. The Sonic voice actors are in Digimon and Kingdom Hearts. Amazing. That noise was great. Okay. So there... That... Is there something wrong with that shy guy? Why is his face stretched so weird? Poochie is apparently in this. I mean, I see Poochie right there spinning around. I hope that's actually Poochie. We'll see. We'll learn. Let's let's go to the beginning, which is a treasure hunt, apparently. Uh, lucky fruit. Lucky fruit is bananas. <gasps> I see dice, Yoshi roll for initiative. Okay, okay. We're gonna do it. Nope! Kate Bloomer goes first. And so in that case, um, which, which Yoshi color do we want, chat? We probably get to choose every single level. 
Do we have color preferences? Dark blue? Okay. The closest thing I had to an opinion was going with the derpy um, yellow one. What is tongue? That is tongue button. Whoop! Egg! Okay. So B is tongue. A is jump. Okay, Y is throw. Just straight up throw. Okay. I need... I need eggs. I wonder if there's a throw and aim option? Oh, cool. Okay, so if I hold... Okay. So if I press Y, I just yeet. And if I hold Y, I get to aim it. Which is important. Val, nice to see you. Thank you for the lurk. That is unfortunate. So, if I eat a lucky fruit, I will earn eight hearts. Do a ground pound near a shy guy while you're super happy. Ugh, I keep pressing the wrong button. This is my fault. Oh, I'm filling the screen. Okay, so how do I ground pound? How do I ground pound? That is not how to ground pound. That's how to ground pound. He changed color? Okay, doesn't matter. This is fine. I do not... What does super happy mean? Guys, it's been a long time, but Yoshi... I, I, I mean, his color did change. Oh my gosh, look at him! He's growling at them! He's growling at the shy guy! He's so mad! I'm eating all this fruit. Press start to pause, you'll see Moshi Yoshi's mood and much more. Lucky and favorite fruit are shown along with any special hearts that you've found. Okay. Oh, favorite fruit is grape. I wonder if that's just true because I'm the dark blue Yoshi. Current mood total, 946. Best mood total, not specified because I haven't beat this. I would, I would guess. Okay. Okay. So my first goal is definitely going to be to eat enough fruit to make this whole square be full. I can go different ways? What, what do I do with the sleeping guy? There are four missed warps in each course. Find them and wake them up. If the other warps are awake, jump on one to warp to another. Oh, okay. Okay, so these are... Uh, this is Miss Warp. Uh, say hello. That's fun. So that's kind of like a checkpoint concept. Pack E Derm. Pack E won't let you buy unless you give something special a try. I don't I don't know what What is Okay, so if I ground pound him, ah, I wasn't fast enough because the controls are awkwardly bad. There we go. Okay. Pachyderm is red? Yeah. Is he not red in other games? You can't eat it, but if you use your tongue, you'll be surprised. That was a sentence. Do you know what, Kate? I I was definitely thinking that. 
I thought that would be neat. But I think that's also a little bit more sophisticated than this game can go. So apparently if we use our tongue on that thing, uh, which is just, huh. I'm gonna eat him. Crown pound. Run. Run. Run, little Yoshi. What is, what is this flower? Oh. Okay. So I, I can eat. I just. This game is so cute. It has been a long time. Okay, I fully do not remember how to play most of this. Melon race, hit the question mark block, cross the starting line to begin the race. The faster you go, the more melons you'll win at the goal time. Okay. I don't have to do that immediately, right? Will these guys, like, respawn? I'm gonna leave that melon there. I don't know if I should be doing this or not. Ah! Come on. Oh! Oh! Rude! Run! Run, little Yoshi! Go! Okay, I got six melons instead of seven melons. So I could have cleared out... Eat five more fruits so that the Yoshi can grow happier. Oh, okay. Can I? Whoa! Oh my gosh. We are, we are happy apparently? Why does being happy involve electric guitar? I think we've had an evaporation. What is this? Oh, okay, so this is like a pipe. Um, I really want to back up. Hold on. I am a very thorough explorer. Come on. Come on, Yoshi. And I know that I skipped that. Is that ecstasy? Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the level doesn't have, or it probably does have an end point. But eating the fruit is what actually gets... Fascinating. Okay. So here's what we've learned right now. Uh, Yoshi's Story, still an adorable game. Um, collecting enough fruit to fill the outside of the screen is how you end the level. And so that means I now need to go back in because I was told there were four Miss Warps and I only found two, which means I've only physically walked through half the level. And I'm definitely getting the vibe of a collectathon for this. And I don't know what to do. Okay, and so the adventure began. The Yoshis set out to find a super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Okay, uh, where was Poochie? Not even elephants could stop Yoshi. So far, so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. Okay. We're just trying to be happy, chat. Uh, what? Excuse you? 
how do I get how do I get back to the last page? There were three whole levels that I hadn't done. I think I'm remembering something about how this game works. So it's been a long time, but now that I've seen that. Can you only do one of the levels per page and there's four hearts that you have to find in the level in order to unlock the levels on the next page? Hello, King Asnubis, welcome in. You've never played this? I, it has been a very long time since I've played this. And I don't fully remember how. This is interesting. Oh. Well, that looks like something I just don't want to be involved in. Bone Dragon! Bone Dragon hates a pounding headache as much as egg on his face. Does that mean I'm supposed to shoot Bone Dragon with eggs? I think you've played every single Mario game starting from the original but never this one. Well, this is a Yoshi game, so... I would, I would like this melon, actually, and, and that one. I love how the little Yoshi growls. Oh, oh, hello. He hates egg on his face. That is good to know. Also, Yoshi games with this one is rare. So this one is for the N64. Um... It's kind of the, like... Actually, I don't even know how I would describe this. It feels a bit like a niche game to me. Oh, there's a Miss Warp. I need to get Miss Warp. Miss Warp is important. Boop! Wake up, please, my dear. You haven't found the old games on eBay? Yeah. So right now I'm playing this one on the uh, Switch N64 Online, uh, which is part of the expanded online membership. But I also bought the game on Virtual Console on my Wii, I think. And so it used to be available on Virtual Console before they even put it on the Switch. That's okay. I just wanted to let you know where I was playing it because, I mean, just in, just in case it matters. I don't have the hardware I would need to hook up an actual N64, and so I haven't done the work to try to find some of these old games. I have always found- oh, hey Poochie! Oh, this is exciting! He's- he's doing a- What am I supposed to do? So, so this is Poochie. Hi, Poochie. I think he found something, but I don't, I don't understand how to interact with him. If I shoot you? Nope. Nope. Whoop. Let's not run directly into this guy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the poochie, guys. I hit. I hit! <laughs> Who is that little bee? I want, I want to eat it. I have fallen. So I think Yoshi's story, for me at least, in a narrative understanding of it, Yoshi's story is kind of like the pre, like pre Wooly World, pre Crafted World, but it's that style of game where like Yoshi needs to go on an adventure for some reason. So I'm seeing that there's a maximum of six eggs. And I'm also very much unclear on what I'm supposed to do with this dog. 
So it's not ground pound, it's not throw things, it's not, it's not eat. So... Sweet! Cool. Is he gonna stop barking now? Was he trying to tell me about a melon? No. He is still here. He is still barking. I feel like Poochie finds secrets, and I don't remember how I'm supposed to interact with Poochie. Ugh! I will say, there's probably a way that I can change this, but one thing that would help me extremely is if I could use the D-pad instead of the joystick on the controller that I'm using. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. That's not bad. So the goal in each level is to get enough fruit to fill the ring, but there's also clearly hidden things. And I don't know what the hiddenness is. Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go to find the hiddenness. Bananas! Okay, so we found a second Miss Warp. Delete this. Am I able to destroy... Oh! No, I see. It's him. He's the one who's able to destroy. I don't want to fall in there. I'm assuming that will be death. Look around, it's not too far. Can you find the special jar? Okay. So I hit... Can I steal his cloud? I could steal his cloud! Chad, I could steal his cloud! Okay, I'm going into this jar. Because I missed going into the jar in the last level. Oh my gosh. Run away! There's fire! Ah! There's fire! I am now officially out of eggs. I wonder if that guy, like, respawns his health? Because, like, there's an egg thing right here. Well, let's learn. Is he gonna have three heads, or is he gonna have two heads? Well... I don't know how I'm supposed to... So you're just not allowed to miss a single shot from full egg. That's lovely. There's melons. But I wanted... I didn't want fruit. I wanted to know whatever the secret thing is. There's, there's a mechanic for getting more levels on the next page and I don't know what it is. Oh! Okay. We'll go down here. I don't know what those things are. Okay. Can I hurt these things? I cannot. So that's a risk getting that melon. Okay. 
Oops. Crown pound. Oh. How am I supposed to do anything? So I can't go that way. If I can go this way, I don't know how. Okay, so I definitely can't go through that like that. I can't go through that the ground pounding. Game? Hello? Wait, we could break it? I tried breaking these! Like a long time ago I tried breaking these. And it didn't work. I tried twice. Chat, we could break these. Probably not through ground pounding still. Yeah. Still not through ground pounding. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, my goodness, this would be so much easier if I could use the D-pad instead of the joystick. So that way exists, and that's nice, but what is this way? Oops. Ugh. I just lost a bunch of health for, like, not being able to see, which is fine. What is this? Step on it and look around to see what changed. Ugh, another one. Okay. Wait, it's gone. Weird. So there is a vase and a miss warp. So that's nice. I definitely want to get there. Okay, so that's where that is. So I'm wondering if that switch was supposed to open up this direction for me so that I could get to that question mark box? I don't see any way to do that otherwise. This is interesting. Come on. Okay. Oh, he's spitting platforms. Where are we going? Huh. Oh, come on. Yoshi. Yoshi Tug. Come on. Come on, Yoshi Tug. Oh. Well, okay. I am, like, somewhat speedrunning this game right now. I wonder if it'll let me, like, start over. I might have to delete save data. Because I am not satisfied with my performance thus far. Yep, okay. So here's what we are concluding, because this is actually an important conclusion. There are six pages in this book, uh, and I only get one level per page. I believe there are supposed to be up to four levels available on each page. However, we have to find something in the levels 
in order to like unlock more than one level on the next one so like from my recollection which is vague and possibly wrong um you can find three hearts inside a level and if you find three hearts for each one you find you unlock level two three four in order on the next page so you get more than just like one level per page but i haven't successfully found any which means i'm currently sitting here doubting that i even know what they look like or how to find them but like i did beat the bone dragon pit on page two as they continue to look for happiness the yoshis got lost in a dark cave inside lived bone dragon capital b capital b if the yoshis stayed they'd surely be eaten they escaped of course no yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon this is great this is great interesting so now that i've remembered that and now that I've remembered how the levels work. This is a very, like, bad gamer friendly <laughs> game. Because <laughs> all you really have to do is eat hearts. I'm pretty sure the Yoshis are your life system. And that if you die, you, like, can't pick that one again. Ride the snakes up and down, left and right. Jump on the snake to change its flight. Oh. 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 Also, I can just walk on clouds. Oh, I think if I'd eaten that guy while he was king. Oh, jeez. What the heck is this? I do not know. Hello? Hello? Oops. Well, we've fallen. Yay! I want, I want this. Welcome back! Oh my gosh, your exit was so good. I think, I think you just came in. Oop! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Dude! Oh my gosh! That's insane. Okay, um, this is nice and all, my dude, but what I was trying to do is explore the ground. Huh? No. I want, I want these. Okay, perfect. So we do in fact need to go up. <sighs> There's a warp if you float long enough? Oh my goodness! So, there's in Woolly World and Crafted World, there's something called... Like, there's basically normal mode, and then there's we understand that you might suck at gaming mode, and the we understand that you... Mellow mode, that's what it's called in Woolly World, that's it. And in mellow mode, you can hover as many times as you're willing to press A on your timing for. So you, like, literally never have to die. spaghetti code related that's fascinating like if you loop it enough even the code doesn't know what to do okay my literal goal on this trip through the book is kind of gonna have to be like find even a single heart like even one 
I want to get to those clouds. These are snakes, by the way. If anyone is confused as to what they might be, they are. They are definitely snakes. Absolutely. They look exactly like how snakes look. Ah! No! Dumb. Does the snake come back? Mario 64 speedrun that may have been affected by cosmic rays? Um, no! Seems like there might be a story there? Oh, but you know what else is a story? These controls. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yoshi. Yoshi. My man. No! Staying on these snakes is the worst. Aw, this poor Yoshi is exhausted, and I understand, so am I. This level sucks! Okay, so how long is the run, Kate? Actually, even- you know what, it doesn't matter, because I know I'm gonna watch it obsessively anyway, but it really makes me curious as, like, as to, like, what category it was. Someone upwarped by pure chance in TikTok clock. And now everyone's like, wait, how do we do this on purpose? So the problem with this particular snake is it really seems as though in order to respawn it, I need to like exit oh I need to exit the part of the screen that it's on okay for real uh joystick no no get yourself a controller that does not have a joystick for this mess of a game nobody's been able to recreate it so far the only possible explanation currently cosmic rays that's fair. Oh my gosh. I hate these snakes. I am- I am glitching through that snake! So, one of the things that I really don't like about this pink snake is how Oh my gosh. Like, when I change its direction... See, I'm stuck again. So, this is this is going to be a delightful exercise in futility um, to anyone watching this. What I don't like about the pink snake is you have to jump in order to change its direction, but I have to jump in order to then follow it. I don't like the pink snake. Chat, it's awful. Wow, that is a theory. Like, not that I'm suggesting it's wrong, but like... Speedrunning is such an interesting world. Come this way. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna fall off this bloody snake. I cannot pick up these fruit. Hello? That that was one of them. That was one of the hearts. Just just there. Just there. Oh my gosh. So those are the things that I'm looking for in this game, chat. Those those are the things. Please give me warp number one. Oh my gosh. I never want to climb these dumb snakes again. Oh look! More dumb snakes! Oh! 
Rude! I want this fruit. That- oh, that's chili pepper. I do not look like I liked that very much. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm trying to eat things! <laughs> the little squeaker noise. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's go with Pink Yoshi this time. Okay. So now let's see if I can do this part better now that I understand what's going on with it. Oh? I don't- I don't want that guy's chili pepper, but I do want that guy to die. Sorry. That was- that was needlessly violent of me. I'm sorry. A thousand dollars. Wow. Never let it be said that there isn't some really cool community stuff going on in the speedrunning community. Okay. Why are there so many flying things. So this is probably going to be... Oh my gosh. They, they just... Is it... Okay. That, that scene is it. Let's, let's do this again because they do cycle around. Fight me! Lovely. I could actually do this for a long time, I think. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's see what happens when we keep going. Ride the dragon! The dragon looks scary, but he likes you, and he can fly! I am actively frightened by this dragon. What is there- why is there a pipe here? Poochie! Again, how do we- how do we interact with Poochie? Those are some angry bees. Okay. Let us not with the bees. I do not understand what Poochie is there for. Let's, let's ride the dragon. He likes us. Ooh, melons. Oh! I was eating! Give me this banana! Him, sorry. That's a, that's a sentence I said out loud on the internet. What are you? Chet, there's a boss fight? Cloud and candy. Slurpity slurp, I'm so sweet you can't lick me? Are you sure? Ow! Are you sure I can't lick him? I can absolutely lick him. Not- not every time. Run this way! Oh my gosh, he's so fast! He's so much faster now! <laughs> he's made of cotton candy and he's so tiny. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him in his tininess! Oh, can't look him through the cloud. Come on. Pop! 
3 minutes and 48 seconds. Amazing. I'm looking forward to watching it. Mario 64 is an interesting game for me in that I do not in any way enjoy playing it, but I love watching people speedrun it. It's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. When you get when you get all the fruit and it like spirals into that freeze frame for Yoshi, I'm like, that's a choice. This is amazing. So this is, I think. A very bad score so far. <laughs> I think I'm hoping I'll have time to play it twice. It depends on whether or not I die. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. Sure, why not? The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked to the clouds anyway. Sure. Up in the sky, they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean, but tasted sweet. So, <laughs> I heard it here first. If someone's mean to you, just eat them, apparently, if you're a Yoshi. I don't even want to contemplate what they might be saying, Kate. <coughs> Disgusting. So we could do Jungle Hut or Jungle Puddle. We only get to choose one. Well, we've been doing level ones pretty exclusively up until this point, so maybe I'll try level one for this. Okay. I'm actually going to see if we, if we want to choose. Uh, I have murdered two Yoshi. They are not coming back. Um, so... Green, red, light blue, or pink for this level? Does anyone have any opinions? The amount that I had forgotten about this game that just came rushing back to me within the first two levels. Whoo! It's intense. You want to save green for last? Okay. Then I'll go with pink. Save default Yoshi. Oh. There is a this way. That's... F ah! Ah! Yoshi! Why? Why didn't you move? Okay. Can I kill this guy? Yes, I can. I am very much afraid of things falling on me, but I need that. And that. Yes. That was perfect. Nope. That is not what I was trying to eat. Okay. I need to get... Now that I have some health, I need to get these eggs. Which have disappeared. Because, of course, there's like a sprite limit as to what can be displayed. You can get the Yoshis back. I truly do not remember how. Um, it might have to do with the number of melons. It might have to do with finding a specific item. So that is a heart and I want it. Fight me. What? 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 I don't know what this, like, firing thing does, but it's what I need to get the heart, because the heart's up there. And I don't understand how to use it. Nope. So not that button. Not that button. What button am I supposed to use? Find a white shy guy? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, so someone needs to help me finish out. Oh my gosh, oh my stars. What did I even do? Okay, there's another one there. Can 
Can I, can I break those? I can't. Can I go in here? I can see two of these hearts! This is torture. I am hiding. What is this level? Okay. Bam. One heart get. Great. That's where he gets the egg roll move and smash bros from. Um, I think you are right. I truly wish. Oh my gosh. Nope. I need patience. Okay, cool. So I can't hurt him like that. I will take this back. I might have to throw something at them before I can hurt them. That's my current working theory, at least. I also know there's another one of those dudes shooting rocks. Oh, my stars! Please! 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 Okay, never mind. You know what? Never mind. This is, this is fine. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna eat this flower a whole bunch. Um, I still don't know how to get to that other part. Okay. But we got ourselves some eggs now. Which means we're gonna check out these stilt guys. Can I knock them off their stilts? If I hit them from the back, definitely. Great. Whoop. Do not fall. Do not fall. All of that for what? For a melon. Ah, oh, jump! Jump, jump, jump! Okay. All of that for a melon and for maybe. Wait, can I actually go here? Oh, I can! Oh, that's interesting! Oh! There is evil here. We'll go back. Now that I've learned I can screen scroll this and I'm not just looking for vases. That has opened up a whole new can of worms for how I might be supposed to get this heart. Because see, he's down, right? Oh. If there's a way down here, it's probably death. So probably not that. But like, look at it! So it's got to be something to do with that weird... Like, it's got to have to do with that weird flower. What? No, that's where I remember being. So, what is the button that I pressed? It's not that. Not that. Does anyone know what is happening? 
Like, I can't press B, Y, or X. Oh my gosh. So, things were happening, but as far as I can tell, they bore no resemblance whatsoever to anything I was doing with my controller. So, what I appear to be able to do is use the A button and the joystick for some kind of directionality. Oh, hello! I have turned into an... There's the other one! I see you! Okay. So that is definitely how we're supposed to get both of these, but how do I... Nope. Okay. I need to learn this skill. I need to learn this skill, and I have no concept of how. Nice! I got one! There is stuff happening here, and there are spiders. Whee! Okay, get me back down to where that other one was, because that actually kind of worked. I need better aim from this one. Got it! Amazing. Okay, I have all three hearts. Now I need to collect fruit. This is fantastic. This is actually how levels are supposed to go. <laughs> Astounding. Okay, so let's start exploring at the top. Why not? I thought I broke the game for a second. Uh, where do these, where do these pipes go? Oh, hello, Warp 4. Oh, Miss Warp. Oh, I see. Wake up. Speaking of nice, do, do you have... Keep Bloomer, thank you very much for redeeming hydrate for 69 meaningless calories, otherwise known as channel points. Nice. I will do that hydrate thing. This game is adorable and I'm so confused. Uh, I, for some reason, these things strike me as things that I, like, can't beat using conventional methods. Okay, so let's, let's learn. Oh, if I hit him, he just goes boing. What if I try to cut his string? Well, if that's how that works... Can I- can I cut strings? Nope! Whoops. Oh, the strings also block me. Well, that sucks. Oh, rude. Rude. Okay. So, that last bit where I ate the flower, I was definitely eating up with the tongue, but that's fine. So that's some wasted melons, which is a shame, because we are looking for fruit now. But that exists. So this pipe probably takes me back down. I do appreciate that. Kate, I appreciate um, your willingness to try to help me stay healthy. Okay, that's definitely not what I was trying to do. What am I? Where am I? How am I? This is fine. Actually, never mind. It's just... What other options do we have for locating fruit? This is, this is my new question. Hello, Ito in Mexico! Welcome in! Lovely to see you. What's in this one? Oh, there's Pogo, guys! Well, that's fun. And there is a second warp, friend. I will take this. I will wake up warp, Miss Warp the Third. 
Thank you so much, Etro in Mexico, for redeeming seasonal candy and also for redeeming non-seasonal candy. As we know, I really like candy here. Um, whew, what season is it? It's COVID season. This is fine. So my non-seasonal candy today uh, is a candy that does not match the season. It is a chocolate with caramel on the inside. Delicious. I don't often have a lot of chocolate, but it's wrapped in a little Halloween-y um, little wrapper. So it is both in essence of its candy, uh, non-seasonal because caramel chocolate is good all the time, but it has that little bit of the wrong season because that's a spoopy season cat. So that's my non-seasonal candy. I just find chocolate very soothing right now. Best for seasonal candy. You know what? Yesterday was American Thanksgiving, which means officially we are calling it Christmas season. We're doing it now. I will not let anything stop me anymore. And I have candy canes. And this is my seasonal candy. This Sunday is the first Sunday in Advent. I'm done. I'm not pretending it's not Christmas anymore. <laughs> And the really good thing about this is chocolate and mint work very well together as flavors. You did, and I enjoyed it very much. My boss, uh, last week, actually started putting Christmas music on in the store, which was really fun. But we've been set up for Christmas since November 1st, frankly. There's not a lot of retail holiday in between, um... Halloween and Christmas. I don't even like that song, Pedro in Mexico, so like, definitely won't hear it from me. Once you're past November 11th, it's Crimbo in your opinion? Personally, I prefer to wait until after or on November 27th, but that is a personal to me thing. So, I think I have a different definition of what people like in terms of Christmas songs. I tend to like Christmas carols. Oh. If I'm not careful, this guy's gonna get me. So I don't need to hit these guys with eggs as long as I get them. Oh. Okay. I just don't need to get those guys with eggs, that's fine. But a lot of what gets played on the radio around Christmas time, I find it very easy to, like, get sick of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all saw that, but this is something that, like, if only I had the skill and the power to do this well. When you use the joystick, see how the tongue just changes, just, just, just changes angle? I got that guy on, like, a swooping sort of mlem. Oh, Yoshi, please. Still can't get him through the floor. That's amazing. Four years in retail. You can't even hear radio music anymore. That's fair. I've actually never... So, where I work now, retail, we only have music on at Christmas. Which is an interesting choice. Okay, but speaking of radio songs that are bad, was it a shanty? I think it was a shanty. When I was in high school, there was one specific song by I think a shanty. It was whatever her biggest hit was at the time. And I strongly disliked that song to the point that unlike songs that I enjoyed, 
I could recognize it from its opening chord so that I could change the radio station the second it started. I did not like that song. Which is possibly a shame. I don't know if I would still hold that opinion now. Okay. So we got these stilts boys. Hello? Plum Berry raided my stream with seven Welcome. views. Welcome in! Hello, Plum! Plum Raid, Plum Raid! Nice to see you, Lemon Lime Aardvark and Teddy365. Welcome in, everybody from Plum Stream! Hello! Ooh! Oil Sham? Is how I'm gonna say that? Um, let me get you a shout out here, Plum. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Hold on, I will get you a shout out in a second. I need, I need this guy to leave me alone first. There we go. There we go. Shout out, Plum. Thank you so much for kicking up me and for dropping by with the raid. How are you? How is your stream? Oh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. What are your favorite bugs? <laughs> How are you enjoying the game? What did you do today? I'm still gonna shout you out because I'm excited that you're here. And hey, if you happen to be here watching me play this ridiculous game and you don't know Plum, well, go go drop Plum a follow. There's some super cute content going on. Your favorite bug was fighting a Pokemon that was invisible! Hooray! <laughs> That's so good. Lemon Lime Hardberg, this music, your kids used to play this game so much. Okay, so this is the reason today. So I'm Lady QEW. Welcome in, everybody. So lovely to meet you. So lovely to see you again. It's great. I'm a Nintendo fangirl. I love Nintendo content. I've been playing Paper Mario for a year and a half, almost straight. And so every once in a while, we like to take a break. So today, I'm actually doing a November game swap. My community redeemed some channel points, also known as meaningless calories, to get me to swap out a non-Paper Mario game for a stream. And then when we voted, Yoshi's Story won. And it has been decades since I played Yoshi's Story. But the thing that I remember about it is the music. And so I just love the idea that that's kind of what jumped out to you when you stopped in. It is interesting. I forgot almost everything about this this game. So funny. Oh, it was a manky? Oh. Nope, just a visible manky. Definitely not crashed. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> how do you even know how well you're doing in that kind of context? So, for those of you... Um, who maybe it's been a while since you played Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story is a storybook. There are six pages in the storybook. Um, each page has an option of up to a maximum of four levels, but you can only play one of them. You have to play the level, and within the level, you can find up to three giant hearts and if you find those hearts when you flip the page there's more levels for you to pick from so there's a minimum of one level on every page but if you find all three hearts on the previous page you get all four levels of options on the next page that's a mess to explain it's a mess to experience within each level what you are trying to do is eat fruit because you're a yoshi and you love food and so this like ring of dots that's around the outside of the screen right now, which you can see about a little over half of them are filled with pictures of fruit. Um, those are the fruit. And once I've filled every dot and turned it into a fruit, then the Yoshi gets super happy and the level ends. That is that is literally what we are told about how to play this game. Um, what I remember, I think you get more points for using either melons like melons are just always special or for using the special fruit i think there's 20 melons in every level but it's been so long since i played this that i'm literally sitting here being like i don't even remember how to play i know what i want to do so we did find all three hearts in this level eventually we like it it took some doing um, but we did do it. 
which is very exciting. Um, and so now we are at the point where we are just trying to find fruit so that we can eat it and end the level and move on. Whoops. Boing, boing, boing. Ah! Uh, and I'm struggling with the controls. <laughs> this game feels like it's really not meant to be played with a joystick. I will take this melon. Oops. That's fine. I don't know what the coins are for. They exist. But have have they ever caused anything? There was a banana over on this side. I would like it. Come on. Five more fruit! Okay, four more fruit. We also found all of the warps in this one, which was really interesting. I've never found all the warps. Okay. Now where are we? That was the stilts. That was the stilts part. Okay. So the only thing that's coming to mind is I didn't really explore this part. I just kind of jumped across it. I don't know if I will die if I just fall down there. But this side has space to explore. I'm hoping that means... Yes. Okay. So there's probably some fruit in here. Um... I don't think I want to hit that bee's nest. Eek! Ugh. Press the correct button, Lady QEW. Do it. Presses the wrong button twice in a row. You know what? Oh no! Oh no! I was attacked by bees. Yay! Yoshi is happy! So that's how you beat a level in this game. Ay, yay, yay. <laughs> that's true. <sighs> so we did not have good success on the first page, I will tell you that. Uh, we found zero of the hearts because I didn't remember that's what we were trying to do. I was just eating fruit and having fun and accidentally ended the level because I also didn't remember that that was how you end levels. So we're learning things the hard way here, um, which means on page two we only got one choice of level and I think on page three we only had two choices of level. But, you know, page four, page four was a little bit, was a little bit better. Yay! The Yoshis stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabon was the owner of the house and he didn't like uninvited guests. He threw things at the Yoshis and they were sorry for ever barging in. So I did not have to fight Gabon, which is nice. I did have to fight the cotton candy cloud by eating it, so that... Yep. This game is, like, more unsettling now that I'm an adult, I think. <gasps> Ooh, pirates! So there's lots of jellyfish. Lots of fish. Wait, literally? Lots of jellyfish? Lots of fish. Great level naming, Nintendo. Shy Guy Limbo. And Shy Guy's ship. Tell me not to buy several Transformers in a Black Friday sale. Cape Bloomer. Don't buy several Transformers in a Black Friday sale. It's very simple. Just do not do that thing. You could eat plastic if you really had to, right? Uh, no. You, you can't. Personally, I would choose food, but you do you. It's your life, boo. Okay. So, 
I definitely am curious about the ship, but I've done the first level on every page so far, and I don't remember some of these levels, so I'm not sure I've ever done the first level on every one. So let's see what lots of jellyfish does. Pink Yoshi seems to be working out for us, so we're going to do that again. I need this. She's asleep? I need- I need- oh! Ground pounding on her can wake her up! We've learned. You can technically put plastic in your mouth and swallow it and accumulate enough plastic to feel full, but it would provide no nutrition and most likely leach chemicals into your body that would make you sick. Thank you for that very scientific answer, Lemon I really appreciate that. Anything is edible once. <laughs> Absolutely. Wait. I'm swimming? There's water levels? Chad, I didn't know there were water levels. I will, I will take this fruit. And this fruit. So every time you play this game, you start by like, oh gosh, that one is chasing me. You start by rolling for like a special fruit. We got banana. Oh. Ah. Where? Oh no, I have been harmed. That is a fish. There is a melon over here. There is a heart there. Run! Run! Melon! Run! Run, Yoshi! Swim! Swim better! Okay, I will take that. There's another one down there. How do I get to that one? Chad, I need this. Okay, I will tell you that it is not this way. Ow! Run! Run! The evil jellyfish! Run! I wonder if this is even the correct idea. I j nope, that is- I'm lost. Okay. Okay, so now we need to get out of here. Why is there a heart inside that dude? Ah! So, what we're thinking is there's probably another spot that we're supposed to explore. That looks like it to me. To get to that other heart. I'm sorry, what precisely was I stuck on there? hate these guys. I already hate these jellyfish. There is a lot of regret for me in my choice. Ah! Ah! No! Please tell me I get health from this. Oh, thank goodness I get health from this. Ah! Pedantry is encouraged in this chat, as far as I'm concerned. This Yoshi can swim, but when Mario's on a tropical vacation, suddenly Yoshi are afraid of water. That is a valid call out. This game clearly traumatized him. Yep. So, several very solid questions, Lemon Lime. Um, yes, I do not have to worry about air, and I am most grateful for that. Uh, nope. That was the wrong direction, Yoshi. Oh my gosh. No, I cannot. 
Uh, that's gonna cost me. Oh, good! It did not cost me. Fascinating. So I can't eat the jellyfish. Um, I, I definitely want that. And I'm not sure if I can eat the red one either. I also don't seem to be able to, like, press any button to go faster. I'm just, like, very, very stuck into my pace. Um, and the other fish I tried eating, like the, the pink one that was down here, my tongue does not make contact with it. Ugh! But, like, this guy has a heart. Okay, cool. So I can eat things out of him? Oh. Oh, I see. That is an invincibility superstar ability. That's interesting. Okay, I've been here before, though. So that was not the way I wanted to go. Oh, but this is new. I have not been here before. Yep. And so that would imply to me that I can probably eat the fruit out of these jellyfish as well. Which is probably the purpose of this area. Is the fruit collection. Like, I don't even know why I'm bothering collecting coins. What do coins even do? Ugh! Eat the fruit, Yoshi! <laughs> if I can make it back to that pipe, I'm just gonna go through the pipe because this is a frightening, frightening area to be in where I can't just pick up fruit without potentially dying. What are you? Can I eat you? <gasps> I can eat that one to make eggs! Uh, nope! 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 This is a hard no! Hard no! I am- I'm gonna die! I don't- I don't know where the- where the damage comes from. Am I supposed to, like, shoot this guy? Well, my Y button doesn't work underwater, so... This sucks. Ow. Get out of my way! Huh. So, a real, a real problem that I'm having. A, a very, very real problem. is that Yoshi can't not move unless he's in a sedentary position. He's got to be moving in the water, and that is bad. The coins are just for score. Oh, that makes sense. I, I maybe get a better score if I collect more coins. What are these levels? So, those are Shy Guy and Submarines! Oh my goodness! These are Shy Guy and Submarines, chat! <laughs> How have I, like, definitely played this game before, and yet I have almost no recollection of most of this? Just need one more fruit. Where- No! That was rude, Mr. Shy Guy. Okay, one more fruit. There's one. I will take that banana. I am done. They're everywhere. You're entirely right. Shy Guy seems to be the main enemy in this game, which I kinda love. Yep, those are scores. Definitely scores. <laughs> this is such a sassy game. Oh my gosh, Spikey. 
I, I do not, I do not like this monster with the pointy things. To go any further, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They like to swim. Do they? <laughs> but the jellyfish's sting spoiled their fun, so they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. Yep, I noticed that. So I think I only got two hearts in that level. Because they didn't do a lot of exploring in that first screen. Which is a bit unfortunate. Bit unfortunate. Just a wee bitty bitty unfortunate. This castle looks like it's trying to kill me. So we have Mecha Castle, Lift Castle, and Ghost Castle. Well, we're gonna do Mecha Castle because I've just done the first level of every single one of these. So what this says to me, well, okay, I really want a speedrun route for this chat. This is this is where my brain is right now. A, this music is great, um, but B, I really want a speedrun for this because I want to know: is the fastest version of this just doing the first level of each page, or is it going a little bit out of your way on certain pages? to allow yourself to access either the second level or even potentially the third level um, because you have to collect 20 fruit anyway. And so for example, that one jungle one that I did where I got all three hearts, those three hearts are very easy to get if like you're doing this whole page anyway to pick up fruit. And so you can kind of choose, but is it worth it? Like, it feels to me as though avoiding boss fights is a key element to this. And and that air cloud one with the snakes, my gosh, that seems like a super slow level, depending on what the other levels on that page are. And so, like, I would be fascinated to know how much work has gone into this and whether or not there are any glitches. Like, the heck. I'm just so curious. But anyway, Mecha Castle, I guess? Let's try Mecha Castle. We're probably gonna die. Most of my death was from those stupid snakes. A swing. Nobody is here to give a push. Hop on and try moving the control stick. Okay. I like... I like the Yoshi's, like, flair for the dramatic... So that's how I get through the door. That's nice. Never kill Yoshi. I don't want to, Plum, but he's the only character that I have. I died a lot to the air snakes. And only to the air snakes. I didn't even die to jellyfish. You watched. I know. Gasp. I would never kill Yoshi if I didn't have to. Swords will leap at you from out of the walls. The red one will chase you. Chat, I am starting to have some doubts as to my selection of level. Yoshi is best friend. Luigi is best brother. You're entirely right. Absolutely. Luigi is such a best brother, he found me all of the keys I needed in Origami King. Chat, did you know I normally play Paper Mario? I really normally play Paper Mario. Soon, soon that will change. But like pretty much since I started streaming, I've been playing through the Paper Mario series. And right now, I'm playing this one. It's very exciting. I already beat the final boss. I'm just in like 100%er territory. We have a bunch of trophies and stuff that we need to collect. So I'm like super excited to finish that soon. But like Luigi is best bro in that game. He's fantastic. I don't think Yoshi is in it though. The level just takes a little getting used to. Thank you so much for your encouragement. I do like to think of myself as an adult who can handle games, but in in reality, I'm just a panicking small child on the inside who goes, Oh, I'm about to get chased by a red sword. That sounds terrifying. That sounds terrifying. However, in uh, related life media, I guess, um, swords will leap at you from out of the walls. 
I was watching the pilot episode of Relic Hunter yesterday, and might I just say, swords will leap at you from out of the walls. They definitely will. If you've never seen that show, please watch it. It's beautiful. Watch Nintendo surprise announce a new Paper Mario on this month just to ruin your plans. <laughs> yes! I want one! This one's from like 2020! Make me a new one! I want more! I mean, I don't want it to be like this. The story was great in this. The aesthetics were great in this. The combat mechanic is not my favorite. It is not my friend. But, you know, I did it anyway. And that's fine. That's fine. The red sword only has a small path. Oh, that's good to know. Last person who told R2 to stay with the ship was Anakin, and Anakin never returned to him. Oh my gosh. Oh, tears. Tears. You're just making my heart break over Star Wars. Which is fair and valid. I, I totally, do you know what? Ret retcon R2 having emotions. It's pretty clear. Oh my gosh, in the novelization, it's just real that he's got anxiety? My poor baby! Okay, so, Lemon Lime, what you're saying is I just need to be paying attention. We know, we know how, how... This is, however, this music box... This is great spooky music for a mecha castle. Like, amazing atmosphere. 12 out of 10. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's there's a lot in terms of timing that is either like just coinc. Oh, I see. I see what you mean by they they pop out. Those are large swords. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I will eat this, and then I will wait. That is a pepper, and I do not want a pepper. Yoshi does not like pepper. It does not count as a fruit. Oh! Oh, that's what it means by it will follow you. Okay. Well, that just missed. Good, good job, Lady P. Okay. What I actually want to do is that. So that is a red sword path, then. worth. Don't care. I wanted this. I don't know why I wanted it, but how do I... Okay. That time... That time I got past it, we're fine. It's... These guys are just made of evil. Oh no! I saw that coming and I fell. I want that. Ooh! That surprised me. I would like this, please. Oh no! That is- that is- that is COGS! I have a collision problem with that wheel. This is fine. We're fine. We're just panicking. Pink Yoshi has also been moved to the Death Castle. This is fine. I'm not terrified at all by how few lives I have. Whee! Their posture of just like chest forward for this swing is great. So, Kate, if I were good at this game... <laughs> Come on! Ah! Jeez, it's because he didn't jump off when I, like, had him jump off. This is bad. There, like, aren't any fruit in this first little bit anymore. The come at me bro pose from Yoshi? Exactly. Exactly. Please jump off. Thank you. I hate the swords. 
hate the swords. I do not feel as though I have precise control over my movement. <gasps> Yay, Pity Melon! Thank you! <sighs> oh, Pity Melon is the best kind of melon. Wouldn't be able to do this, I lack the cognitive functions to navigate those hands. <laughs> oh, boy, that's such a good joke! Do not. Do not even, Yoshi. I remember. Okay. So we know there's cogs here. Cool. I have skipped a fruit. And we're okay with this. But now, so what was interesting was, I was expecting this wheel to turn when I land on it. And I expected that there was going to be some physics involved in this. Boy, howdy, did the physics of what had collision and what didn't not make sense to me intuitively. So this is possibly going to suck. Oh, jeez. Nope. Nope. Thank you. <laughs> that wall is evil. Oh, come on. I just wish I could see what I was supposed to do. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, why was that so awful? Give me, give me this. Give me this melon. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to land on the edge of this. So that, so that I can do that? Effectively. Okay. Wake up, Miss Warp. Nope. I fell again. Okay. I want to go over here. What is up here? Oh, there's a teeny cogwheel. There are more cogwheels. There's definitely something this way. Like, you gotta feel that there's something this way, Chad. Oh my gosh! Yoshi! Jump when I press A! <laughs> my dude! <laughs> I need you to take my butt back seriously, please. Please, sir. All of that for a melon feels very not worth it. Okay. We made it back, though. We didn't die. Oh, gosh. Whew. Was there anything else on the level with the Mrs. Moore? Like, is there anything? No. That is just the end of the line, so we do have to go up. Whew. Are any of these walls made of evil? Oh, that's made of evil. Oh, no. Oh gosh, please let my A presses mean something to you, game. My A presses do not mean anything to this game. Yoshi, Yoshi, please! Her. So I've screwed up whatever that task was, which is fine. I don't know what it was. It was probably to get a melon. Get back here, Mr. Shy Guy. I would like your fruit, please. I will eat that. If you land like very precisely on those, they like don't spin. Now you shoot them, now you don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> that was amazing. Sorry about the nasty cough that I have. I hope it didn't blow out your ears. Okay. 
people's swords? Oh, a pendulum. Here's her safe. Good. Good, good. Oh, there is a sword there. Why? Why does this game hate me? Also, what's up there? Chat, you see that, right? There's a vase up there. How do I get up there? Oh, that was probably the thing that I needed to do. It's fine. Okay. Let's go back to come at me, bro. Because this game can come at me. So we need that gate to be basically completely open before I jump off here. And we need that sword to not be in our way. Cool. Well, I didn't die to that. I've died to other things. Mostly I've died to falling, not to enemies. What are you? You're definitely going to spin. Oh, you spin that way? So there's a melon down there, which means there's there's absolutely a way to Oh, that has spikes. Okay. We're going to we're going to follow this one down. So there is a point at which you fall off. And you can jump up it. It does have like kind of tension in a way. So the thing that is going to hurt me there are the spikes. Okay, so what is the reload time on that? Fast. Cool. Terrifying, actually. I'm just eating fruit now because I'm very afraid of this level. I don't know what was down there. Like, I don't have the vibe of this game. You know what I mean? In Paper Mario, I would immediately be like, cool, I can't see the bottom under this one. I should go down there. There's going to be a heart there. I do not know if that is true of this game, though. Like, I don't know what... I don't know what the... The system is based on. That was such a pause screen. Look. Look. How right am I? It's right there. Is it worth the risk, chat? Do I want to go down here and see if it'll bring me up in the middle? Always tempting to hop in pits. I will take that melon. This better be worth it. Hello, warp number two. What are you even doing here? I think that was a platform that I saw. Bam. Game logic, yo. <clears throat> So I need one more fruit. These things are evil. Uh, okay. Yeet into a pit. Let's go. I will absolutely have this melon for the last fruit. Hoo-wee! Oh! Uh-oh! Uh, that's the tree! Chat, that's the tree! This is the boss! I don't know how to fight the boss! <laughs> what are we here? Mario's little pet? I have pets too. Let's all play together. Oh, hey, baby Bowser. What up, bro? I know. I know. It was really nice to spend that chapter with baby Bowser and Origami King. That was, that was pretty sweet. But, like, baby Bowser is actively the antagonist for Yoshi games. That's the thing. Woolly World, Crafted World, that was baby Bowser. With the fair amount of Kamek. Like, that combo is the, the, the classic, classic Yoshi enemy, which I think this is probably where it comes from, you know? Like, the early, early games that set Mario up against Bowser and Yoshi up against Baby Bowser. Unless you were saying that because he's called Bowser Jr. in all games now, and you never see Baby Bowser the name anymore, because that's fair. Was he a playable character in Mario Party 2? Of 
Play nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bob bombs at my ceiling. Understood. So I need to throw bob bombs at his ceiling. Uh. Um, what? Oh my gosh. The violence. Oh! Can you please? I am I am truly sitting here just with opinions. Okay. Oh! Cool! Let's not die! <laughs> not what I expected. Oh! If I if I keep these friends for too long, they absolutely destroy me. Okay, so not not only am I throwing these things at the ceiling, which I absolutely for sure am, I'm trying to throw them at the ceiling like right before Dude. Right before baby Bowser like hits them. I am I am frozen with a bomb on my nose. Uh, so that was phase one? I have some confusion. <laughs> oh, Baby Bowser and Bowser Jr. are different characters. Yes, okay. <laughs> Avoid? This is why we don't monologue, kids. That's fair. Here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now, so say goodbye. <laughs> oh, he is... He is now trying to kill me. And I, I didn't, I didn't get that hit off? Well, that's just rude. Ah, missed him. Oh my gosh, I am throwing so many things. Why is it not working? Throw the bloody bomb. <laughs> so the superstar invincibility there from the tree, A, came in clutch because you could just get invincibility from the tree in this fight, apparently. And B, oh my goodness, I can't throw bombs because one of the things you get when you have the super happy or whatever it is mode is you get infinite eggs. And so I was just throwing eggs instead of bombs. I don't know how I was actually supposed to do that fight. This is fine. We're fine. It's fine, right? Whoo! Baby Bowser is confusing because Baby Bowser is Bowser as a baby and also was a child of Bowser in Mario Party 2. Interesting. So is this baby- Oh! Oh! Is this like the Yoshi's Island Yoshi's Story spin-off space where on Yoshi's Island you were protecting baby Mario and this is baby Bowser, the antagonist Bowser before he grows up. Yo! My mind has been blown. Officially. Interesting. Yeah, this hurts. I hate you puny little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruit tastes rotten to me. Oh, those are the guys that took my dead bodies away. Love it. Love it. We, we beat we beat the game. enemies eight. <laughs> Who? So melons give you the best score, is what this comes down to. If you can eat exclusively melons and super fruit, you get the best score. That's what I'm remembering. And you get points for having Yoshi's left, so if you can do it all in one life, it's better. It's better. Um, so chat, for once, in game swap, we, like, beat the game? I don't know. That seems nice. This is nice. I know I've played this game before. This is the thing. I actually remember... 
I remember the swords. I don't remember beating that level, which makes me think that when I died initially in that level, I might have picked a different level from the book, because you can. Yes. Yes, Kate. Already, it is fast. Um, but more than that, I didn't know what I was doing, so it would have taken me longer if I'd remembered that I was looking for hearts and that I needed to not eat all the fruit until I found the hearts. And if I'd remembered that I should have been aiming for melons specifically rather than just any fruit. That absolutely would have added to the time. Speedrun hype! Yeah, what's the world record for this? Because I'm pretty sure I did the whole thing in like under two hours. <laughs> No, but for real, speedrun strats for this, like speedrun pathing specifically, like whether or not there are glitches or strats, whatever, that goes to the side. I'm sure there are, and I'm sure they're cool. But specifically, the pathing strat of knowing which levels you can get 20 fruit in the fastest, and whether or not you therefore need to collect any of the hearts or which hearts you need to collect where in order to access those levels would be fascinating to me like just a pathing speedrun for this and then efficient movement i mean i'm awful at this game apparently i i cannot with the joystick here so i wouldn't be a contender but i would find it very fun to watch pathing has always been the thing like tricks i understand but pathing for me huge deal huge deal for speedrunning Oh my gosh, I get to put my name in! Uh... I, I can't fit my whole name in, chat. Especially not if I spell it wrong. You see, you see the problem that I'm having, chat? I'm just gonna have to go with Lady Q, because I can't fit QEW in here. End cutscene! End credits! I forgot how this game worked. I love this game. And so the adventure began. Oh! It's giving me my storybook! The Yoshi set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis because I played level one on page one! Ha! Oh, so far so good! If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. I love this! You get to build your own storybook with the levels that you used! As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon. If the Yoshis stayed, they'd surely be eaten. I mean, yeah, but I killed the bone dragon, so it's fine. They escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. I should feed my Yoshi to my dragon. As the Yoshis were walking, we found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. Do Yoshis have bones? Are they dry bones? The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked on the clouds anyway. That's bravery. Up in the sky, they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean but tasted sweet. That's, that's, why, that's why we ate him. The Yoshis stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gavin was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. That's fine, we didn't meet him. We just left him. Gavin threw things at the Yoshis and they were sorry for ever barging in. To go any further, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They liked to swim, but the jellyfish's sting spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. The Yoshis finally got to the castle in the final page of the storybook. Amazing. Behind all the noisy machines, baby Bowser guarded the tree. 
Bowser was a tough baby, but bad guys finished last. The Yoshis won! Okay, that is, that is a choice. Some great storytelling right there. All's well that ends well. The Yoshis had broken Bowser's spell. Was it a spell? This is fine. The super happy tree was back. They jumped for joy with their fruity snack. Adorable. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. That was our storybook chat. That was the storybook we wrote with the levels that we picked. Isn't it amazing? Maybe they're singing the end. Oh, maybe. You know what? I could hear that because it is the end of each level and then the end of the story. It's a happy ending. And the green Yoshi survived. That's what's important, chat. The green Yoshi made it. Oh, the music box is so cute. That's is so cute. Entirely adorable. Oh, so sweet. So sweet. Yay, happy end. Not sad end with all the dead Yoshi. I wonder if I'd run out of lives if it would have given me an end of storybook. Sad end. And just the picture of, like, the flower that's in the corner when it's upset because you have no more petals just, like, whacked on there. That would have been very funny to me. But we did it! We lived! The only deaths we sustained were from falling. Insta-kills are my enemy. Happy end for the surviving Yoshis. All of them were in the picture, Kate. Aww! Yoshi's mood this time. 11,479, heart. Story ranking, number one, Lady Q. My story's the best because no other stories have been told on this save file. I love it. So the suspend menu, this is interesting. So basically, I could make like a save slot. Oh, or I could reset the game. Oh. Make like a save and split. Oh, that's a very funny speedrunning joke, Plum. I enjoyed that. Yeah. So does anyone know, because this feels important, is this save state for this game or is this save state within this concept of the N64 online? Like if I, if I put a save state here and then I open a different game, do I have to deliberately avoid like not wiping the save state in this game? I, I'm, I'm truly like, I'm thinking this is going to be important because at some point in time, I'm going to play Zelda on stream. And when I play Zelda on stream, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are probably easiest to play here. And I am solid intending to abuse the save state for like boss fights because I am bad. I am bad at boss fights in Zelda, just like hands down. Very not good. Very not good at them. Um, and so I will probably have to, like, load in and suspend and, like, restore save points. Is this the way we, like, close it? Right, because the home button takes me to the menu menu. Oh, and so that's how I close the game. All right. Okay. That's cute. Nintendo. And so now here, oh, the way they say Nintendo is very cute. What is trial mode? <gasps> Wait, do I get to play like each level and try to get a high score on it and like find things? 
Oh my gosh, I think I found the reason why I didn't remember how the game actually went. Because if this is real, this means you can actually grind levels to get, like, only melons or something. Except, as I'm looking at this, I think I might have to play the level in story mode in order for it to exist in trial mode. Because I specifically just played level one on each of the pages. Fascinating. My mind has just been open. Okay, sorry. I'm having a completionist moment, chat. And the completionist moment says, oh, I need to play every level on every page, which means on every page and at least one level, I must find all of the hearts, like, multiple times. You know what I mean? I, I, I just, I want, I want everything in this trial mode. Oh my gosh, the Yoshi finger! Bananas again. Okay. I really... I would like to... Hello? Why can't... Why can't I get to the dumb yellow Yoshi? There he is. That was ridiculous. <coughs> So that menu only understands up and down, it does not understand left and right. So what I am now doing, chat, I very much want to know how this works. I've already screwed up because I've eaten things that aren't melons, I need to stop that. I will, I will take this guy. I will take this guy. Um. I want to see if I can find the hearts. Hey, cat! Woohoo! Go away, Packy Derm. Woo! So, mm, I fell. This is fine. Thank you for the melon. What? Why? Why? Eat. Run. Want to know a horrible secret about this game? Yes. I very much want to. Okay. Hold on. I want... I want these things. Oh! If I get seven melons in a row, it gives me superstar invincibility. That is worth knowing. Oh my gosh, fight me. Oh, they turn into fruit if I ground pump them like that. Okay, give me all seven of these melons, yo. That was a great success story. I look very happy. Amazing. Amazing. So, I missed a melon way back here, and I need to... Can I, can I hit him? No. I need to still knock him over. Ridiculous. I want this melon. There's so many melons around the screen right now. Z, L, A, B at the same time. Okay, I will try that after <laughs> I am done my trial, I assume. <laughs> ah! Rude! I will eat you as punishment. Do, 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 do. 
I still haven't seen any of the... Hello. Please be free. Fight me. Fight me. I will take that. These shy guys are trying to threaten my pooch. And I am having none of that. Uh, Yoshi, go up! Oh, there's another one. I will take that. Hello, Poochie. Oh, I probably want that. Where the... Uh... Where is, where is Poochie? There are so many things that I have ignored. Poochie, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. That's nice. So... I'm going back, uh, because I have skipped a bunch of things that I think are melons, and I want those melons. I think they're melons. Cantaloupe? Who knows? So. Oh, that is a shy guy. Not a melon at all. Lies. Okay, maybe I haven't missed any melons then. That was it? That just gave me coins? Rude? Am I going the right way? Oh, without Poochie here to tell me. That's fine. So I think I got two of the hearts? And that reset me to the beginning of the level. Fascinating. I am missing a lot of melons. If it is in fact, oh my gosh, Yoshi. Fight me, Packy. Packy Derm. But I don't think I got three. Like, that's the thing that's confusing me. I don't think I got three hearts. And so where's the other heart? I could definitely get enough fruit. But I don't want to. These are the special fruits, so I'll eat them. Oops. Oops. I'm very good with the controls in this game. So this is specifically the wrong way that the Poochie did not go. Which I think is this way. Yeah. And then he didn't go up. Please? 
please go up? Thank you. Oh. Interesting. And then we wind up here again. So where's the third heart? Oh! He's there! Hold on. I... I think I had to destroy all those bubbles, maybe? No, where, where, where is he? Mr. Smiling Happy Heart, come, come back. Why? And now it's just gone. How was I supposed to get that? It is clear to me that I do not understand this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back in here. So I saw it. I saw it, but I did not successfully get it. Eat, eat the fruit! Yoshi, eat the fruit! Um, nom, nom. Okay, so the fact that there's like a trial mode is fantastic. Woo! Over 3,000 points in that level. I don't know if that's good. I get to put my name in again. My name does not start with a K. Fascinating. Okay, this is adorable. So, I'm pretty sure the trial mode is based on if you play the level at some point in story mode, you unlock the level in trial mode, and then you get to hunt around and find things in it. That's so great. Go back to story mode real quick, do the code. Yesm. Z L A N D. Like, is it... Oh, and now that one's red because I've done it. Oh, fascinating. Um, so when you say Z, L, A, and B, um, my Z buttons are Z, L, and Z, R. Does it matter which? And is it like Z, L, or is it Z, L, A, and B? And can I do it now, or do I have to be in a level? You don't know? Okay. Do you know if I need to be in a level? Um... The ZL is the Z button. Perfect. It doesn't have an L, though. Okay. So we're gonna open a level that is called Surprise. It, this is fine. Um, we're gonna be Derpy Yellow. Um, because officially that's my favorite. Okay. You just can murder them?! Why? Why? Why is that a thing in this game? Why? No. That was rude. Oh my gosh, that breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. It's a horrible, horrible secret. That is like fully... My heart, she borked. 
There's no more happiness inside me. You can just kill the Yoshi for no reason. <gasps> wow. I mean, it's also really funny. Okay. I mean, I'm glad you told me about that, Kate. Thank you very much uh, for giving me that code because I didn't know you could do that. But also, that being said, that is super cruel. And why would anyone do that? That is heartbreaking. <sighs> so that was Yoshi's story. We unintentionally just built a storybook and I absolutely would do that again. Like, I very much would just over and over get all of the levels, trial mode this, try to get like a certain amount of score in every level, try to figure out how many levels I could beat with only melons, you know? I'll, there's lots of things that I think I could do in this game to set myself completionist uh, tasks, and I think it's adorable. But I hope you enjoyed the music with me, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay with me, and I am super glad that y'all were able to be here for the Game Slab stream, because, I don't know, it's a sweet game, and I'm glad I got to share it with y'all, and I'm glad I got to remember it, because like I said, it's definitely been like 15 years since I played this last. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Kate. Um, so, assuming, again, like I said, assuming that things don't relapse, uh, I should be streaming again on Tuesday next week. My current slotted plans are Tuesday afternoon and Thursday morning. So, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I accept the cursed knowledge. I just, I'm not very happy with it, but I accept it. Um, so that's my intention for next week. I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish everything that we're doing in Origami King, but we're going to have a go at it. And so we will start that back up on Tuesday, just seeing how much more I can do in the 100%ing mechanics and how long I think that's going to take. Um, to like get that completionist gold star on that game before we can start doing kind of some more of our end of year content. I do have some ideas for that. My current plan is basically thus, um, which I will share with you guys because you're here right now, but I will probably share again next week. So for the month of December, um, rather than launch into a new game and like whatever my next thing is going to be. I kind of figured I would start Clean Slate in January for a couple reasons. The principal reason being that my schedule in December tends to be very heavy. I tend to work a lot, especially towards the end of the month. And so that means a couple things. The first one being I'm not going to be doing a game swap for December uh, because I do not know how many streams I'm even going to have. So it's hard to set the metric and actually give you guys an opportunity to meet it. So instead, I'm going to make all of December kind of a game swap month where what I will do is this. Um, most of the games that I have played on game swap streams have been ones that I haven't finished. There is obviously an exception to that. Uh, don't. <laughs> I, I was about to say don't at me, but please at me. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> like, whatever that, whatever that meme is. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start every stream in December with a couple puzzles from a Picross style game that I have on Flash just because they have a daily puzzle and that's kind of fun for me to do. So we will start with doing a little bit a smidge of Picross and while we're doing Picross I'm going to be putting up a poll um, and that poll will have some of the games that I've played in game swap streams before. Which ones do the people who happen to be there that day want to see me continue or finish? And then I'm going to swap over to one of those games and we're going to see about maybe completing some of the ones that we hadn't finished when we swapped them in. So the month of December is going to be this like mildly chaotic version of whatever game I'm playing is whatever game I'm playing. It's fine. Um, and that is partially to uh, give me the satisfaction of maybe being able to go back and beat some of those games um, or to even just enjoy some of them more because they've all been a lot of fun, including this one. Like you can see, I could absolutely play this game more, even though we beat it. Oh, could totally play more of it. 
Um, but also to give you guys the opportunity to see some of those again. That's that's the goal, um, is trying to make sure that I can stream and give you guys some cool content while knowing that I don't know how often I'm going to stream or how long I'm going to be able to stream for on literally any day in the month of December. So it's going to be a bit of a mess, but I'm excited for it anyway, and I hope that you guys enjoy coming along on that ride for just kind of a chaos month. I think last year I like didn't stream for the last two weeks of December, and so I'm hoping that I'll still be able, like using this system, I'll still be able to stream a little bit um, and, and give you guys some content, but then we are going to be starting fresh in January with a new game, is my plan. That's my plan. That's my current plan. We're going to see if my plan works, because it might and it might not. But them's the goal, and so for now, I'm going to be done. I will be back Tuesday afternoon is the hope, and we are going to go on a raid. So again, warning to you guys as I set up this raid, we are going to raid Kamixiel, who is playing Pokemon Scarlet Violet. So if you are trying to avoid spoilers, if you want to play the game through yourself and you don't want to see any spoilers, I do not know where Kemi is uh, in terms of the game. And so I don't know uh, what we're going to learn, but I'm excited to see some gameplay and I want to make sure I drop you guys off somewhere Nintendo-y. Sorry about that, Kate. Thank you for being here at least. Um, and I hope that you enjoy your own playthrough of Scarlet. I'm dropping a raid message uh, for those that come along. I hope you'll stop in, say hi, and give Kemi um, just a little bit, a little bit of love, because she's a fantastic streamer who also writes fantastic chip tunes. And it's very lovely. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys next week. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream today. I enjoyed myself. Thank you to everyone who was here, who was watching. Thank you especially to Plumberry Muffin for the raid and for the jokes, because that was a lot of fun. Heart and love to all y'all, and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, and yeah, just just that it's an excellent time for you guys for the next little while. Bye for now.